Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a Diophantine equation, which means we're going to be solving for integers. Particularly, we're looking for positive integer solutions. So we have this equation, a over a plus 1 equals b over b plus 2 plus c over c plus 3, and we're looking for positive integer solutions. This problem is from Alberta High School Math Competitions a Canadian math competition from 1995. It's a really good problem, a beautiful problem on Diophantine equations. So Diophantine equations are lots of fun. And usually we have equations that are less than the number of variables. So in other words, if you have two variables, you may have one single equation. In this case, we have three variables. That's the beauty of equations with integer solutions. All right, let's go ahead and start. First of all, notice that we have something like a over a plus one on the left-hand side. Now, since a is a positive integer, a plus one is greater than a, and a over a plus one is a fraction that is less than one. So in other words, a over a plus one is less than one. How does that help at all? Well, it's not only a over a plus one that is less than one, but also the whole right-hand side, because they're equal. So here's what we're going to do. Because we start with a over a plus 1 is less than 1, and since we have this expression on the right-hand side, either you're going to write this on the left-hand side, or you're going to reverse the inequality. Again, this problem is from Alberta High School Math Competitions. They made a really good compilation, compilation of problems from 1957 all the way to... 2006. It's a beautiful, beautiful collection. Now, let's go ahead and start with 1. And since a over a plus 1 is less than 1, 1 is going to be greater than a over a plus 1, which is equal to b over b plus 2 plus c over c plus 3. Okay? Now, here's what we have. This expression is less than 1. So, we can kind of write it this way. We could also do that at the very start. This is less than 1. Now, we're going to go ahead and make a common denominator. Let's go ahead and make a common denominator. When we do, it's going to look like this. bc plus 3b plus 2c, or not 2c, that's the problem, plus bc. So, we have the bc twice, divided by bc plus 3b plus 2c plus 6 is less than 1. Now, don't combine the bcs in the numerator. You know why? Because we kind of have something in common here. Take a look. This expression is repeating, right? You know what that means? So you kind of add the same thing to bc and 6, and you get a fraction that's less than 1. If it doesn't mean anything to you, I'm just going to cross multiply, but I want to keep this as a block. So cross multiply, and you can do it because everything is positive. So this gives us BC plus 3B plus 2C plus BC is less than BC plus 3B plus 2C plus 6. You know what that means? A lot of things are going to cancel out. BC plus 3B plus 2C and this means bc is less than 6, which is a huge improvement because this gives us an upper bound. So we need to make sure that when we check values of b and c as positive integers, their product needs to be less than 6, which means their product can be 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. For example, if bc is equal to 1, this means b and c can only be 1, 1, right? And if the product of BC is 2, which is less than 6 still, right? Then we get BC as 1, 2 or 2, 1. That gives us two solutions. And then for 3, we get 1, 3 and 3, 1. And then we get 1, 4 and then 2, 2 and then 4, 1. And finally, 5, when BC is 5, you get 1, 5 and 5, 1. That's it. We only have like 10 possible cases. Wait a minute. For each of these, we have to check the values of A because A also has to be 
a positive integer. And how do we check that? From here. Take a look. If we know B, C values, for example, if B is 1 and C is 1, then we know that A over A plus 1 is equal to B over B plus 2 plus C over C plus 3. So in this case, A over A plus 1 is just going to be 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4, which is 7 over 12. Uh-oh. This can't be happening because from here we're not getting integer solutions, or are we? Let's find out. Cross multiply. 12A is 7A plus 7. 5A equals 7. A is equal to 7 over 5. Unfortunately, A is not an integer, so we're not going to be able to accept that. So you have to check go through every single case, every single case, and then you're gonna find out that only certain values are gonna work. And let me go ahead and give you the values, but let me just uh, maybe look at a couple other ones, such as, for example, what if I have B equals one and C equals two, which is another one, right, one comma two. In this case, A over A plus one, oops, a over A plus 1 is going to be B over B plus 2, which is 1 over 3, plus C over C plus 3, which is 2 over 5. Again, if you make a common denominator, 5 plus 6, 11 over 15. Nothing good is going to come out of this, right? Well, we may get something sometimes. It's not guaranteed, but uh, it's still worth trying. Uh, so cross multiplication gives us 15a equals 11a plus 11. And then from here we get 4a equals 11. And again, this doesn't give us any integer solutions. But you kind of need to go through all the cases. And maybe uh, one of these is going to work. And let me try to find something that would probably work. I think uh, maybe when b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 1. I think this will work. Okay, let's check it out. So a over a plus 1 is b over b plus 2 plus c over c plus 3. Remember the original problem. So a over a plus 1 from here is going to be b 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4. And yay, success! If that's the case, this means a is equal to 3. You can still check with cross multiplication, but that's not necessary because this should only give us one solution. So a equals 3, if b is equal to 2, and c is equal to 1, which means we get a solution at order triple, an order triple, 3, comma, 2, comma, 1. Remember, we already knew the b and c values, but by finding a as well, we get the solution uh, triple. So here's all the solutions. You want me to write them down? 3, 2, 1 is one of them. 5, 1, 3 is another one. And then we get 9, 2, 2. And you can verify these. 11, 4, 1. And finally, 23. Actually, there's one more, I think. 23, 1, 5. And finally, 27, 5, and 1. So those are the only solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.